Good morning, lovely people. Welcome to Laura Yaro's latest technique class. We had some sound problems today, so we'll jump right into the middle. It's kind of magic. Say with me. Tick, 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 tick. So we go bending just slightly, keep the hips, push into the floor with your axis in the heels, ankles, and in the whole foot, in the metatarsis as well, and go forward, keep the line, and go here back, yeah, don't open the, foot, the hip, and go back, keep inside belly muscles, and go back, go back, stretch, and come back, yeah, uh, feel that you are, go push, uh, push down, yeah, and um, feel that you are, uh, stronger in your axis. Good. Let's change again and let's go uh, again to do the same. And now let's stop here and let's go back. Yeah, like change. Keep inside. Yeah, and go pin and down. Yeah, and go pin, pam, and change again. And they can change the weight on the back, keep inside belly muscles, pay attention to the hips, belly muscles and uh, inside and try to think that you're placing the whole back, the, actually the whole part of in front to the back and you really change the weight there. And you're going to pin, pam, and then take, replace and go uh, crossing here and change the weight and then again pin, pam and change and now when you change the weight make sure that you transfer the center yes there and one more time and then make sure that you transfer the weight and free the other one bien and we go cool now that we have done this exercise for changing the weight for keeping the axis right for making sure we are well aligned and we keep the line uh, for strengthening, right? Uh, our for, for being more powerful in the floor. Um, good. Let's try to uh, improve, right? To practice even more um, our um, uh, technique for for pivots, for turning, uh, and to uh, practice as well with the information that we we talked about in the previous weeks. Yeah, and to strengthen it, right? So. Let's take this position, maybe I'm coming here, hopefully you, it's good and you see, right? Good, so let's take this position, let it take, let's take the weight on the right and belly muscles in, belly button inside, hips inside, try to have a line of shoulder blades, uh, hips um, on the heels, on the line of the heels and ankles in the floor and we try to think that we are going to turn to the back we are going to use the flexibility of the base leg of the knee right but it's just you see it is not that you are going to fall in the floor yes so we think like we said that we want to use the upper body right we want to use the energy and uh, the power of the back but of course not excessively and not forcefully and not to pull back but to keep it just to activate yeah these um, the shoulder blades and the muscles under the shoulder blades but actually to keep the arm with the partner right so we are not going to uh, move and pull the back but we are just going to activate to initiate the energy right and then we are going to go foot knee hip right so it will be something like this right so i am re remaining with the upper body yeah, as you see with the partner, but I am initiating uh, energy from there. And now for the forward, we are going to go like uh, uh, torso, yes, chest, and together with the arm, but not pulling, not pushing, yes, and but accompanying, right? So, and we are going to go like hip, knee, and foot, and bend the knee, and let's start. And important, the leg comes always as we were saying uh, the previous weeks right so uh, the leg the free leg for the forward uh, pivot for the forward auto is amazing to 
have a delay to come after um, the hips, to come as a consequence of the turning of the hips, right? So let's give it again for the back. Uh, so let's take energy from here, but we are not pulling it, right? So keep it, just initiate, right? So initiate and keep it and go uh, foot, knee, hip, right? And the legs and the pivot is complete. Yeah, can you observe the hips? But I am keeping uh, my connection with the partner. I, I want to turn all the time to the partner, right? So then I start uh, torso, yes, and uh, torso of the, of the free leg, yes, all the time. So torso and hip, knee, foot. Right? Bien. And then again, let's do this a few times. Like we said with the explanation. So torso, hip, knee, foot, uh, back, and foot, knee, hip. Torso, hip, knee, foot, and back, and foot, knee, hip. Yes? And so in the back one, uh, the leg, the foot, uh, has an energy and it helps us as well. It contributes to, to the energy of the pivot, right? Let's say. So, yes. And we go. And we go. Bien. Cool. We can as well change the leg. Yeah, and try to do, try to do the same. Yeah. So we are going like to use this one, right? This part of the back now, uh, this flexibility of this knee, because now is this one, and we use the foot, knee, and hip, right, to go. So we are going like ping, pam, pam, right? And then we go chest, torso, hip, knee, foot, right? And then we go back, initiate, but remain, don't pull it back. Uh, just initiate the energy and you go like foot, knee, hip. And you go torso, hip, knee, foot, belly muscles in, belly button inside, align the back. And then we go back, foot, knee, hip, and torso, hip, knee, foot. And back, foot, knee, hip, and remain with the partner, don't pull. Bien, one more time. Bien. So, do you observe how important it is, and from the exercise that we have been doing the previous uh, weeks, um, to delay the free leg uh, for the forward auto, right? For the forward pivot. In everything uh, that we do, in all the sequences that we will dance, it's amazing not to throw the leg and with a lot of energy uh, too early in front because then we also like somehow cut the possibilities of the partner right uh, for sakadas for gancho for whatever you know uh, and so let's try now uh, exactly for this uh, reason to give a shape uh, an adorno to the auto the foro auto exactly to practice this delay of the free leg, right? So we are going to go uh, back, uh, forward, yes? And now we start the same chest, hip, knee, foot, bend a little bit, use the flexibility, and let the leg, the free leg, to come really after, like in a spiral, yes? The spiral that we have been talking about. Yeah, and take it out, bring it, to, bring it close, and then push, resist, hips inside, so we can go forward, right? And then again, we are going torso, chest, yeah, uh, hip, knee, foot, and let this leg to arrive after, yes? And then take it out, bring it together, uh, push the floor, and resist so that you can arrive with the body over the leg. Don't throw the leg forward as well for the forward walking, yeah? And then again, we go torso, and we arrive, yeah, and again, yeah, let's focus on the torn now. So we go torso, hip, knee, foot, and this remains, I mean, it remains um, free, but it 
touches the floor with the toe, right? So you, it's good to keep all the time this connection, um, with really this communication, this connection of your free toe, yes, of your free foot, free toe, and of the free leg in the floor, so that we, you can keep this, uh, right? This connection with the floor. Uh, good, so we go again, yeah, and then we go torso, hip, knee, foot, bring inside, and go, and push, and arrive, and torso, hip, knee, foot, and we let the leg to arrive after, right, and then, and pull. So, now let's practice as well in another way this uh, delay uh, of the free leg and this, uh, this free leg coming in, in as a consequence, right? As a result of the, the turning of the hips, of the turning of the, like we always say, like uh, upper body, yeah, torso, as you see, hip center and leg, right? In the spiral. Uh, good. So, what should we do? Should we do? So let's try now from here, yes, how we are, to, to turn once this, yeah, and we go until here in the side step and then take it back, yeah, so go like in a, let's say like in a rebound and come back and then we are going like back, yes, foot, knee, hip, yeah, and go back, bring together and now go back here and now we will turn more right so now we will turn more in the side we will take torso hip knee foot and we will turn until here right and bring yourself back and then we will turn back yes again so and again go yeah uh, join and then push again to go and then again we go one time short one time long right so we go one time torso hip knee foot side here yeah bring yourselves back and then back foot knee hip yeah and then go and change the way and then we go forward yeah and you go torso hip knee foot but so much yeah and then did you see the delay of the leg and then we go back and Foot, knee, hip, yeah, and bring yourselves back, and then again a couple of times. So we go forward, yeah, and we go torso, hip, knee, foot, with the leg coming behind, yeah. Don't throw it in forward, and then we bring again, and then we go back, foot, knee, hip, yeah, and bring yourselves together, right, and then again we go forward the last one and we go torso hip knee foot until here right and then back we change the weight and then we go back foot knee hip yeah and we arrive in this uh, pivot complete bien cool so this was even more you know um, let's say underlining um, the importance, of course, uh, of the dissociation, when and how, for the backward pivot and for the forward pivot, and the importance of the delay of the free leg for the forward ocho, for the forward pivot, right? Uh, and how it comes uh, as a result of the spiral of the body, as a result of the, the turning of the hips, turning of the, the, the torso, and so on. Uh, letting it with delay. Great. So, thank you for uh, the practice tonight. Uh, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you continue practice at home. Um, we see tomorrow at 7.30 again to practice uh, uh, useful and beautiful stuff for, for our tango. And uh, stay healthy, very important. Boost your immunity and as well, this uh, video will be recorded and it will be available on YouTube, on Quartoso Tango uh, YouTube uh, channel. 
and you will find there um, uh, all the classes that we have done uh, so far, also on, on Facebook, uh, on our pages, Quartetto sul Tango, uh, Laura Iaro, Angela Baccio, and uh, as well, uh, don't forget to subscribe to the, the YouTube channel, uh, Quartetto sul Tango, and to like and subscribe and share and practice at home and enjoy practicing and stay healthy, take care of yourselves, stay at home. I hope this practice finds you at home, by the way. And see you tomorrow. Besos y abrazos, lovely ladies.